three, two, one. Peace family, and welcome to Christian Cultural Center. I am Esprit Parker, and sitting beside me are my handsome co hosts, Fonza Bernard and Christian Cloudit. How are you guys doing? I'm fine, Esprit, but how are you doing this Sunday? We don't ask you enough. I am doing wonderfully, and I am making the correct strides to live in my purpose. Hmm. Speaking of purpose, let's not forget that tomorrow everyone has to go back to work. Boo. Yes, but tomorrow's National Have Fun at Work Day. Yes. It's lit. <laughs> yes. So it's not only fun for you employees, but yes, you employer. A fun work environment is prosperous, successful. It builds so many things that a, a fun work environment can bring. Education is one of our core values, and we apply this value through our SLR classes, such as Journey Through Proverbs, Phenomenal Prayer, and Premarital Guidance for Couples. These classes are multi-session Sunday classes, and registration is now available, but register fast, because it ends February 17th. So, our C3 Youth Ministry will be taking a trip to the Kalahari Resort. If you are between the ages of 12 to 19, then you are eligible to attend this trip. Make sure you take advantage of this indoor heated water park during this cold winter season. Ooh. Registration is required and the trip will be taking place February 21st. You'll be glad to know that Christian Culture Center is hosting our Black History Month production of Shore to Shore, Thursday, February 28th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Registration is required, so hurry up. With that being said, that's it for CCC Highlights today. For more information, please visit our website, cccinfo.org, or follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Our handles are at cccinfo.org, at CCC Long Island, and at C3 University. Bye. Bye. Later. Spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ, helping spiritual seekers become transformed believers, and demonstrating the love and compassion of Christ to the world. Through humanitarian works and social engagement is our mission here at CCC. Disorder can make us desperate. The problem is when desperation motivates us to change, relief can usher us right back to where we started. It's like fasting. I used to be militant about Consecration Week because I was desperate to hear from God. But when the week was over, I was hearing from the drive through at McDonald's. Because I wasn't just desperate to hear from God, I desperately wanted to believe that a week of fasting could fix everything. But God wanted to deepen His relationship with me all year round. I needed better habits, spiritually, financially, physically. And when I started building them, my life started to change. I needed to follow God's plan. God's financial plan works, and generosity is a big part of it. God told Israel, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. When we hold desperately to money, we're trusting money to bless us. But when we're holding desperately to God, we're trusting Him to bless us and letting Him use us to bless others. Remember, God always has a plan, and God's plan always works.